All right, Frog Squad, so you just got your first in-body scan. I'm gonna talk you through three different scans that you're gonna be seeing here and what particularly you're looking at when you look at your scan. So this first scan, this is someone that's brand new to their fitness journey. They just scanned once. The first thing you wanna look at is your muscle fat analysis. This will tell you what your weight, your muscle mass, and your body fat mass is in pounds. If you look at the end of each of these bars, that's where this person sits. This person weighs 186 pounds, has 62 pounds of muscle mass, and has 75 pounds of body fat mass on their body. So when you do your scan, you wanna draw a line from one bar to the end of each bar, and it's gonna create a letter. This particular person has a letter that is a C. So from the end of the weight to the muscle mass to the body fat, it creates a C. This is where most people fit and start when they start their fitness journey. Uh, this right here, a little bit too high muscle mass, a little, or a little bit too high weight, a little bit too high body fat. This person has pretty good muscle mass because if you look here, this is the low end, this is the high end, and right here, this is the optimal range. So this person is sitting in the high end of all of them. Muscle mass is super great here. The reason why I like the muscle mass high is because what that does is over here, if you look at your basal metabolic rate, the higher your muscle mass, the higher your BMR. And what your BMR is, is if you were to stay in bed or if you were in a coma all day long, this is what your body burns just to keep you alive. The higher the BMR, the more calories you can eat and maintain. Uh, as someone loses weight and they go through their weight loss journey, they will usually cut calories, they will increase their physical activity, and in that process, they will lose muscle mass. This is what you want to avoid because as you lose muscle mass, that BMR is also going to decrease. So maybe they're losing a lot of weight, maybe they see from 160 pounds to 140 pounds, but they lost 10 pounds of muscle. Now their BMR goes from 1400 calories down to 1200 calories, that means they now have to eat 1200 calories just to maintain where they're at. And that's a no-go. So the goal is to lose weight, but maintain or even build muscle mass, keeping that BMR high. So back to the scan, you can see the next part is your segmental lean analysis. This tells you where your muscle mass is sitting and how much you have in each little quadrant of your body. The top number is how many pounds of muscle this person has in their left arm. The bottom number is the percentage out of 100. So what you want is you want these numbers on the bottom to be over 100%. This person has all over 100%, which is great. The lower under 100% that is, the more at risk you are for any types of skeletal muscle uh, injuries that you might be seeing throughout, throughout your fitness journey. So uh, the more muscle mass you have, the more protective you are from injuries. Now, the next box down here, your body composition history, every time you scan, you're gonna get a nice little couple of dots there. And this is gonna draw a line into the next box, depending on if you lost weight or gained weight, lost muscle mass or gained muscle mass, lost body fat or gained body fat. So depending on whatever your goal is, you're gonna to wanna to look at that line graph and see if it's trending in the right direction. One thing you wanna look here is, is as we move over to the next scan, we can see down here, this person is scanned one, two, three, four, five, six times. And there are sometimes little hiccups. This person is actually kind of linear, but usually there's a lot more ups and downs throughout that journey. You'll, you'll wanna not be too scared if you see those numbers going in the wrong direction on one scan. What you're looking for is the overall trend over time. So let's look at this person's muscle fat analysis. This person, instead of having a C shaped, this person is pretty much in an I shape and they're right there at the top of the optimal range. So this is really what you're striving for. This is really where you wanna be when it comes to health, is you have enough body fat and enough weight, but this muscle mass is still on the high side and it draws a straight line down, which is an I. So the first person had a C, this person has an I, and this person is also over 100% in all of their quadrants. Their BMR, because they're a male, is a little bit higher. They're sitting up here at 1,850 calories, which is big. Now this top right box, this top right box is telling us how many pounds of fat mass we need to lose over here to bring this bar down into that 100 middle optimal range. Same thing with this lean body mass, that's for the pounds of muscle. So the scan is telling this person that if they lost six and a half pounds of body fat mass, it would bring their bar down into the optimal range. Now, six pounds for a male that's over six feet, not a whole lot of weight to lose. This person is sitting really pretty. Now, if you're looking to be more the athletic range or maybe you're looking to more train for something like a 
competition or something like that, you'll wanna look over at this third scan. This third scan, the muscle fat analysis, this person is in the middle of the optimal range weight. This person is on the very high end for their muscle mass. They're pushed up way into this range and then their body fat is way down here. They have five pounds of body fat on their body. That right there for a male is probably a little bit too low. You can see down here that it's sitting at 3% body fat. Uh, that's probably a little bit on the unhealthy range when it comes to body fat for men. You wanna be a little bit higher than that just for uh, overall health. But if you take a look up here, it's telling us that we have zero body fat to lose and zero muscle mass to gain. So if you're looking to be like a competitor or something like that, you're striving to create this little shape that is a D. So drawing from the weight to the muscle down to the body fat creates a D. So the first scan was a C. Boom. The second scan is an I and this third scan is a D. So those are the three types of scans that you'll be seeing. If you have any questions, you know where I'm at. You can find me on social media at Coach Damien underscore SD. Send me a message. I can talk you through it or meet me in the studio and uh, we'll go over your scan. Have fun, guys.